my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Milk and this is Milk Astrology. And today we are going to be doing all about Leo. Um, I wasn't even gonna film this video, but I figured, you know, I might as well. I'm a Leo and you know, I just, why not? Why not? I was gonna put this off, uh, like record next week, but I was like, no, I'll just record now in case you guys are confused on my ramble. Um, so before I get into the video, just know that if you donate a dollar or three dollars or ten dollars on my Patreon, you get uh, a free mini astro readings on annual perfections, free tarot card spreads. Uh, you can ask me a certain amount of questions depending on how much you donate a month. You get free ho exclusive horoscopes and transits on what's going on with the stars, what's happening with this full moon with me, what's happening this new moon with me. Um, so make sure to check that out. I will leave a link in the bio. Um, and yeah, so the first fact that people get wrong about Leo on Instagram and Tumblr is that Leo is this self-absorbed, super vain, selfish zodiac sign. Like this is what this is what gets me genuinely heated about people with Leos because people genuinely feel like Leos are these super larger than life personalities. And I feel like maybe we do come off this way because we're just naturally very um, passionate about our feelings, but I don't feel like I would even go as far as to say that they are vain or selfish. I feel like Leos are incredibly sensitive and I feel like if anything, a lot of their self-love journey growing up is something that they really struggle to go through. I feel like it's not easy for them. It's not something that just comes naturally for them. I feel like if anything, Leos struggle to prioritize themselves. And especially with content online that's so passionate about Leos being obsessed with themselves when nine times out of 10 growing up, we don't like ourselves. We have to learn how to accept ourselves. We have to learn how to not feel like everything we do is gross or weird or awkward because Leos are like the worst critic on themselves. If you think of Virgo as a, a critic, like you should listen to a Leo's inner dialogue. They are constantly at their own neck. And I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this is how they are all the time. I think they grow out of this. I think that they grow into a more self-assured and confident person, but I think it takes a war with themselves to get them there. And I think when people say these things online, especially when you're, like, you're young and you're saying these things, you hate your zodiac sign even more. This is like the Gemini hate. Like Leos are first to admit that they are not as secure with themselves as they wish they could be or would be and I think they grow into being more secure with themselves but I think it's a journey I don't think it's just something they grow up like grow up and have I think it's something that they have to learn to have and I think when they get there they're so proud of finally going through this battle where they're able to like feel confident in their own skin that they might be loud about it, but I don't think that that makes them vain. And also I feel like as a society, we don't think that it's okay to love ourselves because we always ridicule and make fun of anyone who posts a selfie or is like remotely proud of themselves, especially with women. Women are supposed to hate themselves. Like if we're allowed to like ourselves, we look like we're a certain way. We're not allowed to like ourselves. We have to pretend we don't know that we're attractive so that men can make us feel like these magical unicorns, you know? And it's just, it's just a whole societal spiel that I won't get into. But all I'm saying is that this is where this is where everyone just gets it backwards because it's just we as a society aren't allowed to love ourselves. So the one sign that's supposed to be like all about themselves is just taboo, I feel. In my opinion, I feel that is true. And <clears throat> my next stereotype about Leos that I don't understand is, yeah, the Leos are selfish. The Leos are just all about themselves, in it for themselves. Um, and again, I don't understand this. I feel like Leos are incredibly loyal and faithful to who they care about, what they believe in. And I feel like they're not the kind of people that are just going to switch it up on someone. I feel like they're incredibly, like they will go to the moon and back for someone if they really care about them. And also like they're the king of the jungle because they're able to be diplomatic and they're able to think about bigger pictures. They're able to, 
care about people they're very empathetic they always want to work together and i think that they're always trying to see how things can benefit everyone i don't think that they would just do something to hurt people that just i mean this is the thing that i could see is that leos are very jaded at times and so i feel like if you give them some kind of energy and it's weird and they don't feel like you're being loyal they're very quick to uh kind of take back their loyalty they are going to give you a hundred and thousand percent if they feel like you are loyal to them they will go above and beyond for you they will have your back no questions asked now if they don't feel like you are loyal if they feel like you are not to be trusted if they feel like you just don't make them feel secure they will not be this way and so i get why people say like oh leo selfish no leo just doesn't trust you like i guess i just like this isn't really a third thing but this just kind of is like an in summary thing um i feel like a lot of content online pretty much says that leo just isn't really in love with anyone they just want to have their ego stroked all the time like they don't know how to be selfless they don't know how to care about people like oh the fastest way to seduce a leo is just to compliment them and i feel like that's not true i feel like leo knows if you're not being serious or if you're just kind of bsing i feel like they have a huge bs detector because they are very jaded and they are very fragile at times with um, like, what do people want from me? What are they expecting from me? And I feel like kind of saying that Leo is so unaware of themselves to the point that like they can't care about you is pretty harmful. Um, it's also kind of entirely wrong considering Leo is ruled over the fifth house. Like the fifth house is marriage. Fifth house is long-term bonds. Fifth house is children. Um, it's also creativity and expression but it's about like deep strength like strength and bonds and i feel like leo will be committed to you when they will put themselves on the back burner and they will fight your battles for you if they feel like you're worthy of their time but they are not going to go to war for someone that they don't feel would do the same for them i guess like i feel like they just need to have a valid cause yeah i guess that's i guess that was it i don't this is a very short video for leo i'm so sorry but yeah i mean comment below let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up because i am a leo and you're probably watching this because you're a leo and just you know it's tough out here so you know just do that please yeah. <laughs> shut up and turn the notification bell on so you get all my weekly updates. I post new videos every Sunday and Thursday. And I'll see you in my next video.